Hey guys, Bazzy back here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over my predictions for the team of the year in NHL's Hockey Ultimate Team. As you may know, I definitely don't make a ton of hut videos, but every now and then I do like to dive into the mode, uh, and I do want to give my overall predictions on who I think is going to be awarded with team of the year uh, for this season. Uh, and when that does get released, I'm going to be doing a huge pack opening for that, but that's probably going to be all the hut content you'll see for a while here, but let's get into it. So I think we have to start with Connor McDavid. There's no way this guy doesn't get team of the season. I know he had a bit of a slow start to the year this year, but he's really rebounded. Uh, 26 games as of recording this, he's put up 41 points, uh, coming off 153 points last year. Absolutely insane. There's no way that McDavid's not getting another team of the year. And really, every year that he's in the league, at least, I want to say at least for the next five years, he should be getting this. So he's going to be at least the first forward position here that I'm predicting for team of the year. The second forward nominee here that I'm going to be predicting is David Pasternak of the Boston Bruins. This one I struggled with a bit. I just I didn't know if there's going to be him or Nikita Kucherov. Obviously, Kucherov leading the league this year, playing absolutely outstanding, but I think I'm going to give the slight edge to Pasternak, just with his 60 goal year last year. Put up over 113 points, I'm saying here, and at time of recording has 41 points in 29 games. Another 17 goals, another great offensive season for him. Uh, I just I don't think there's any way that EA doesn't give him a card. Uh, I think this will be a second team of the season award winner if he does get this. I know we got it a couple years ago anyway, but David Pasternak is my second forward nominee for team of the year. So my third nominee here for the forward position is going to be Nathan McKinnon. Again, I don't think there's any way him and McDavid aren't getting it. I think those are the two locks. Uh, Pasternak is the one that you might see change, but 31 games this year, he's put up 47 points. He put up well over 100 points last year and only playing 70 games. Uh, as far as I'm aware that you can have multiple centers, I don't believe it's locked like that anymore. I know it used to be and McDavid would always win, so I think the developers did have to change that, but... That's going to be my three forward uh, nominees for this year, being McDavid, Pasternak, and Nathan McKinnon. And staying on the Colorado Avalanche here for a second, the first defensive team of the year nominee I have is Kale McCarr. Again, he's the cover star. There's no chance that he's not team of the year this year. Uh, I think for the fence anyway, the two nominees I have selected here are basically locked. Uh, I'll get to that in another sec here, but there's no way Kale McCarr isn't getting Team of the Year. Easily the best defenseman in the NHL right now, and probably will be for the next at least three or four years here uh, before someone else starts coming up, so he will definitely be getting Team of the Year uh, coming up here in January. The second defensive nominee I have for Team of the Year for this year is Quinn Hughes. Again, I think he's basically a guaranteed lock. He put up almost a point a game uh, last year, and he's well over a point a game this year. Putting up 39 points in 32 games. Had an absolutely fantastic start to the season here. And the only other guy you could really, I think, even mention at this point is Eric Carlson. But if you're looking at just overall defensive play, I think you have to give it to Quinn Hughes and Kale McCarr for this year. And when it comes to the goaltending nominee here for Team of the Year, this might be my one a little bit more controversial off the board pick, but I'm gonna go with Winnipeg Jets goaltender Connor Hellebuck. I know a lot of you are probably saying, uh, why are you not going with Linus Allmark here? Had one of the best goaltending seasons ever. Uh, it had just fantastic numbers, 938 save percentage, I'm pretty sure. And I can definitely easily see him being selected as Team of the Season here, but I really just think that Hellebuck's the bigger name goalie. He's had fantastic stats over the last couple of years. Uh, I saw something that the Jets haven't allowed more than three goals in a game in over 18 straight or something like that. And they're having a fantastic year, one of the top teams in the West. I think for EA, the more marketable name here is Hellebuck, so I think they're going to probably go with him, but but really between him and Elmark and even really Sorokin, I guess you could kind of argue. Uh, either one of those guys could easily be the goaltending nominee here for Team of the Year. But I think that's going to do it for today's video, going over my predictions for Team of the Year, which will be coming up in just a couple of weeks here. 
So definitely let me know your guys' predictions for who you think is going to be named uh, to the team of the year in the comments down below. And I will see you all in the next video.